said beyond the physical you said you can perceive you and the universe and you did that almost as me and the universe was one and the perception of that so most of us can intellectualize the idea of the universe we can't and we can't experience it and between the intellectualization of it and the experience of it you are telling me that all of the bhavi and 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 the windows that are opened i am getting closer to the to the my relationship with the universe can you describe that between the intellectualizing and the experiencing of it and where my relationship exists see if you go with the foot scale to measure the depth of the ocean you will invariably come back and tell me that it's bottomless because it's impossible for you to measure the depth of the ocean with a foot scale you're approaching the universe with a completely wrong instrument the intellect your intellect itself is an instrument which can only dissect and know things there is no way your intellect can know anything perceive anything without dissecting without prior prior information about it you cannot know if you see anything new there is no way for you to know now you really want to know your daughter would you like to dissect her no <laughs> <laughs> no that's definitely not the way but with intellect you can only dissect her you will call it analyzing but it's dissection yes so by dissecting you can know all kinds of details but you will not know the real thing so whether you take a flower or a human being or a tree or an animal by dissection you're not going to know anything you will only know the physical parts of it the sum of this physical part still does not make the whole so you with the foot scale you're trying to measure the depth of the ocean you will come with wrong conclusions so i mean the fundamental so i'm question. saying keep that aside and let's talk without your intellect let's me let's see try make an effort all right i'm going to leave my because without the intellect there's no question i <laughs> know there are there are questions in the universe without intellect all right let me try let me try without my intellect nothingness is not a question <laughs> no no don't don't go into abstract things so like I, that so i i don't know what to do if i because the, the moment the very human existence right now is a question there is a longing to know that itself is a question yes but the longing to know is being right now unfortunately channelized through a, an instrument which is incapable of knowing so i am saying you have a longing to know which is a big question mark by itself try to direct this question mark without the use of your intellect don't sit there and try to dissect me you'll not get anything if you cut me you'll only get what you will find in a frog or a goat the same heart liver kidney you will not find enlightenment in my kidneys <laughs> if you want to know this you must keep that aside and still pursue the question so you that's what she is she is the question without the intellect no no i'm saying when you go to her yes. you have to go with your heart yes. you can't go with your intellect if you go with your intellect what is there one black form like this what is this it's nothing but you ask people who just walked in it just hits them it's an explosion of energy but if you go there with your intellect what is there simply madness so is madness wrong <laughs> i thought everybody's trying to be sane <laughs> okay so let's not be sane for a while <laughs> Let's be mad. The thing is, uh, human beings are always trying to do mildly insane things because their sanity is so restrictive. 
their sanity is just crushing them within themselves. So they want to do something crazy. They're not trying to do something crazy, they're trying to break the trap of their own intellect. Intellect thinks logically. Within the frame of the logic, they feel trapped, but they don't understand it is they who are building the trap. Even a spider has the intelligence to build a trap for somebody else, not for himself <laughs> right. Human beings <laughs> using their fine instrument of an intellect and building a trap for themselves, and they feel trapped in that logic. Now they want to do something crazy. Essentially crazy means something illogical, something does that not synchronize with the intellectual process. Every time they do that, either to drug, a drink or some other mad act that they do, they're crossing the line of their logic and they think it's great. I'm saying, let's do it consciously. You don't have to do any insane risky thing, you can sit here and live that. I'm saying, someone who builds a trap for himself of his own logic, he's truly insane, but he thinks he's sane. Your very concept of sanity has to change.